Hello all of my amazing artists. Today we're going to be making recycled houses. So I am using an Eggo waffle box, an empty one. Um, you can use any type of box that you have in your recyc recycling bin. Snack box, a cereal box, whatever you have. I also have a tape dispenser. You can use any type of tape um, and washable markers. If you don't have markers, you could use crayons um, or whatever you have. If you have paint, that would be fun too. I'm going to open up my box and look for the seam here to yeah, open it all the way up. So now that my box is completely open up, I can cut along the lines so that I have rectangular sections. So you might have square sections. Uh, most boxes will probably have the ret rectangular sections. And we're going to use these sections to create our houses. And if you want to add trees or bushes, if you want to make a neighborhood full of houses, it's up to you. All right, so once I'm done cutting, I'm going to use the bigger sections for my houses. So starting with this one, I want my house to come about here. So I'm going to get my marker and draw what my house is going to look like. So starting with a square or a tall rectangle and then a triangle on top for the roof. I'm using my finger to trace it out before I draw my lines so I know where to draw. Right Next I'm going to cut my house out. And I didn't add a chimney right away, but it would be easier to add the chimney now instead of, you'll see, I tape one to it afterwards. But, okay, my house is cut out. I'm ready to draw my door and some windows. So you need a rectangle for your door. You can decide if your door has a window. Is it a half circle? Is it a square? Um, please be as creative as you would like with your houses or even think of what your house looks like at home. And I'm gonna make some windows and I put plus signs in my windows. I'm also gonna add some bushes on either sides of my door using just this curvy cloud-like line. And here are some details. Okay, for my roof, I'm going to make a scalloped roof. And a scalloped roof looks like this. Also, you're also using a cloud line. Going all the way across. Oops, whoops. Loopy loop and loop. There we go. And then you can decide if you want to add other details, if you want to draw symbols on your house. I'm going to add a peace sign to my house. That is something I really love in my house. I need a lot of peace. All right, now I'm going to color. And you could be creative with the colors of your house. If you want a purple house, if you want an orange house, that's up to you. Um, I'm going to leave my house brown because my house is brown. Um, and then I'm going to color the door, you'll see. I'm also going to add some yellow in my window so it looks like the lights are on in the house. And a purple door.
Okay, and I realized that I didn't have a chimney, so I'm going to add a chimney with a scrap of my cardboard. I just want to measure it out first. I'm going to draw my chimney. All you need is a rectangle. And then I'm going to make these horizontal lines in my chimney, and then I'm going to stagger these vertical lines so it looks like brick. And then I'll cut it out. There we go. And take a piece of tape. And I'll tape my chimney to the back. And there's my house. If you want, you could color your chimney red. You could color the roof, whatever color you'd like. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it stand on its own. So one trick is to use, um, if you have toilet paper rolls, you could tape a toilet paper roll to the back and it will stand. I'm going to use the scraps to create a triangle so that the triangle goes to the back of my house and helps my house stand. So notice how I folded the scrap into thirds and I'm going to tape together the top of my triangle. If you need, you can always rewind the video. You can pause it. This could be a little tricky holding the ends together and adding the tape. And now I want to attach right, that rectangle to the back of my house. So I'm going to loop a piece of tape. So I roll it and pinch it together. So the sticky side's on the outside. I'm going to press my tape onto the side that I want to attach to the back of my house. Now make sure you line up the bottom to the bottom. There we go. And now your house can stand on its own. Pretty cool, right? All right, next I'm going to make a tree for my house. So I'm going to use another scrap. I'll fold it in half so that I know how big my tree is going to be. If you want, you can make two trees, you can make a bush, you decide. So the tree, I'm going to start with my trunk. Just two lines. The bottom of the trunk is always bigger than the top. And you want to exaggerate it a little bit so that it stands well. That means that I made the bottom of the trunk very wide. I'm adding these details. All right. I'm going to cut my tree out. Sometimes it's easier to color it first before cutting. Alright, next I'm going to add some color. And now to make this tree stand, I need another triangle. So I'm going to use a scrap piece of cardboard. This was another tree. I used a tab. I like the triangle method better than a tab to hold it up. So I'm going to take a small scrap and I'm going to fold it into thirds to make my triangle. One third and two thirds. Okay, now I have to tape the top of my triangle together. There we go, and now I just have to tape that to the back of my tree. So again, I'm going to roll the tape and loop it together to create so that I can 
put it onto the back of the tray. Okay. Now I'm going to use the rest of my scraps to create another house. So this house I want to make different. So I'm going to take it horizontally so it's a nice wide house. I'm going to make a dot up in the center to show where the middle of my house is. So the tippy top of the roof will be up here. Okay, there's my wide triangle. Okay, let me speed this up now. Okay, so there's my second house, and I added a heart um, as a detail to this house. And then I'm going to line up my houses together to create a little neighborhood. And I'll add the tree. Oops, fell down. I hope you have so much fun creating your houses and a neighborhood. Can't wait to see all of your creative ideas and pictures. Let me know if you have any questions. Have fun.